take a log file from the server when windows is not installed and there is two ram is faulty in the server so today we will take log file from the server to register cache with hp to claim the ram so here we need to go in the f9 for system utility you can take log from f9 f10 also if windows is installed you can take log from windows but here we will show you how to take log from the system utility bios so now it will go in the bios As you can see it's uh, showing to go in f1 or f2 we will go in f1 in f2 you can see the error course but uh, we will also see from here so now to take the log we need to go in the system health we go and try active and system log uh, select the range you can select date from which date you want to take the lo log or you can uh, give date also specific date uh, after giving that it's coming by default so no need to change select file uh, here select file system or test media we have already attached 8 gb pin drive in the server mm -hmm. take the log now you just need to go inside the pen drive just press enter here many logs files is already taken so just uh, stay on the system volume information and uh, press plus so it this pop-up will come to enter the file name for the log file so here memory error is coming so we will give name of the log file memory and you must need to end the file name with dot ahs extension if you will not end this file name with ahs extension then it will not save so memory dot ahs it's compulsory then press enter now select you can see memory dot ahs is showing here just select the memory dot ahs so you can see memory dot ahs is selected here in the uh, in the pen drive now just press start uh, retrieve as you can see log file is created you can see information hs log saved successfully now you can uh, uh, now you can uh, see the pen drive in the system or in the in your laptop to claim the memories from hp or to give log to hp to claim the ram so here we have successfully downloaded the log file from the system utility bios f9 now in the next video we will show you how to take log file from the intelligent provisioning so thanks for watching the video thank you